Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are on the free to play, and as you can see, I'm currently farming some arcane key because I need to give myself some superior potions in order to ascend some of the champions that I'm trying to build for my faction wars, such as like Ruark, because I'm using him in my Sylvan Watchers. Then I just recently ascended my uh, Emek, which actually Emek is amazing. He's a great carry for. For the silver watchers faction wars this skill and this one like the a3 and the a2 are just amazing for survivability for that team and you know what what i'm gonna do today is i'm actually gonna pull my five sacreds because i'm getting close to the end of this uh free to play series and we have this weekend two times sacreds then i think tomorrow's two times voids and then we have two times ancients so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna open all my shards this weekend because well, I'm doing Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, and even after I finish this series and give it away, people can continue, like whoever's gonna win this account, can still get their shards from farming Ultra Nightmare, okay? I want Q Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare Brutal, all of that good stuff, plus, you know, I can push a little bit of Doomtar hard. And yeah, there are definitely gonna be ways for the winner of this account to, to take it. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna give this account away. I haven't finished it yet, so I can give it away, but... One thing's for sure, I have two more hurdles that I need to pass, and those are the Sylvan Watchers and the Shadowkin. Kind of looks to me like the Sylvan Watchers is not a big of a problem, but the problem that I seem to have is I'm not sure if I have enough DPS. Like, I don't have enough damage in this team. I can survive, I can keep, you know, keep people alive, rotate, do my stuff, but it's just really slow. So I'm not sure if anybody knows, just leave it in the comments below. Can Enda Moonbeam actually hit? Like right now, I have Enda Moonbeam in a stun set because she, she he, I guess it's a he. <laughs> he has an AoE hit over here, then he has a triple hit on the A2. So I thought stun set is quite useful on the passive, it's nothing too crazy. The A1 can bring decreased defense, which was kind of helpful for the boss part when I did it on stage 14, but I'm not sure further. So I don't want to go on Hello Hades and just check the, you know, multipliers. If anybody use them, leave it in the comments below. Let me know, can he hit or not? <clears throat> but what I'm basically pulling for is I'm trying to hopefully get something for these two factions. Okay, I have five sacreds. Maybe I get lucky and get the legendary. I have this this team again over here for the Shadowkin, and it's hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's not as easy as as I suspected or as I expected. I even had I even have Game Boy Six Star. I even used my uh, what's his name Gori for some freeze in there. I was rotating through Burangiri. I was using Kunoichi. It's not as easy. It's really hard. Like I feel like if I had a good proper DPS for this faction, that could be really you know make it easier for me so if if we have a quick look over here and the shadow king for example if i do get lucky to get a legendary somebody that could be awesome would be lady kimi because lady kimi brings lots of terminal control that could be huge then michinaki would be amazing damage dealer he would just he would just destroy everything so he would definitely be instantly 16 then uh, i'm not sure about tatsu i've not played with her she has the, an aoe some single targets i'm not sure uh that would be that helpful horima could be again awesome because well the boss they were facing on stage 21 has uh 100 ignores your defense well guess what her passive will take that to 50 percent and will make it so much easier so getting a horima would be amazing who else kyoku could also be awesome because she brings ally protection decrease attack hp burn triple hit maybe even genzin you know what even genzin could be huge but if i'm not gonna get lucky and get one of the legendaries over here i would love a toragi okay i feel like if i got toragi most of my support problems would be would be solved and i could just build uh gambo to just do crazy damage and not worry about him dying and maybe even hotatsu i could even switch hotatsu in a straight up damage build and that could make it easier because borangiri with his ally protection shields provoke he would just be huge so that's what i'm hoping for over here from the shadowkin then honestly for, for the silver watchers from the legend there is the only one that i would like would be elva she would be massive another reviver i already have the epic reviver but you know what elva is just 10 times better this single target revive this aoe cleanse increase speed and block debuffs this is this is uh just huge i'm not sure about lady of lady Aerith. maybe she could be good the strength and could be helpful the single target cleanse though i'm not sure i'm not really sure i, I would prefer an elva and then from the epics Honestly, from the epics, I think I would like to get a damage dealer. Like, I would love to get Dithy. 
he's just he would just be a beast i feel like if i got ify that's it i think i would be able to straight up finish with the supports that I have alongside him i i think that that would be it maybe even uh ruella could be helpful but she does mostly single target however quite sure she could kill off stuff so between these two i would definitely love to get them creodan could help because he has an aoe uh aoe freeze and some termiter boost so maybe i would build somebody else as dps but yeah, even Kellen, I have some good stuff about Kellen, the shri Shrike, Shriek, I would say it. And maybe he could be good also with the decrease speed for the boss. Could be interesting. So those are kind of the champions that I'm looking for from these five sacreds. I'm sorry that I, you know, rumbled a little bit before I pulled, but because it's, uh, you know, my, my free-to-play series has, has turned more towards faction wars. So I'm, you know, what I'm trying to build, what am I using? I kind of want to talk about it, so maybe I give you guys some ideas about what you want to look for in the future if you're trying to tackle those faction wars. And after all that talking, I don't think there's any sacred that I can get anymore, because it's another 20 days from this one. Let's see, can I get lucky? Can I still have some luck for this free-to-play account with these five sacreds? And, you know, five sacreds in a dream. I want helpful champions for those faction wars. Even if I don't get the legendaries that I showed you, even the epics would be would be awesome. So let's see. Come on. But obviously, it's two times we would love to see legendaries. Oh god, this starts with a lag. I'm not sure if it's a good lag or a bad lag. Come on, let's see. Okay, straight out with the Lego and <laughs> it's a Marinex. Dude, come on. She's amazing, honestly. She's huge. I feel like she would be awesome, especially with this A2 for Hydra. A we decrease defense and hacks. Is amazing she can hit pretty hard another hit over here so you know she would be she's really good she's gonna be really good for this account for hydra but i already finished this faction i already finished the faction wars for dark elves the video is gonna come out on sunday for this so i am not gonna be as excited but it's a legendary again who's gonna win this account is gonna be happy i guess to build a Maronix if they don't have a better champion that brings decreased defense and hacks because i have lydia or not lydia mithrala she can go in one team but the Maronix can come in a second so you know what i started with the lego that's good come on let's see <laughs> back to back maybe that would be crazy right no okay we go with an epic that's a missionary I don't need sacred order i need shadowkin and i need silver watchers can i please get shadowkin and silver watchers good champs or faction wars come on Okay, another Sacred Order. Stop giving me Sacred Order. I beat that one. Romero, uh, I'm not too impressed. I, he got a buff, but still, I'm not sure I would uh, I would use him. Don't care. No, not on this account. I already beat the faction ones. Come on, something else. Something else. Shadowkin. Oh, I thought it was Shadowkin when I saw the dark background. Base Crater Monster. Amazing champion, but I already have one built. I already have one fully built. Mastered. He's just gonna be faction guardians or maybe food if i'm desperate to get food oh man come on last one give me something for shadow give me the turagi please oh god that's a no uh, i got a steel skull again after i beat i got a steel skull again after i beat the the skinwalkers faction but he could still be built like whoever get again whoever's gonna get this account could build steel skull will have that support for when you're farming stage 2021 good heals and some poisons maybe if you don't care about the poisons just go with healing but you know what i'm not gonna complain i got the legendary from five sacreds that's good i wish i would have gotten something for the factions that uh you know that i'm looking for but i guess it is what it is tomorrow i'm gonna come back let me double check that tomorrow's void so i'm not talking rubbish let me see so we have friday sacreds okay void so well, come back tomorrow, guys. We're going to be pulling the 32 voids because normally this weekend should have been a two times voids weekend. So I'm definitely pulling all my void charts. And let's have a look. What could I get in here? I guess from voids, obviously, there's some top tier. You make a Riho with straight up. If I got Riho, that would be straight up. That's it. I'm down with Shadowkin. She would carry my backside in that one. And then from Sylvan Watchers, well, I don't really care about these guys. Maybe Nia would make it even better for support, but I'm not sure I really care about those. But I'm still going to pull them, because why not? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. I hope you're lucky with your sharp pulls this weekend. And yeah, we're going to see each other tomorrow. But before that, if you do enjoy my content, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see me upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.